Hey guys, currently it's mid-June 2020. I hope everyone is doing well. Today I'm going to talk about a product called Speedo DRD. It's from 12 o'clock lab. If you have a best speed on there, like my Yamaha, it's driving me crazy. Here's how you can fix it. Recently I bought a 2008 Yamaha WR250R. The owner told me it has a best speed on there. I didn't pay much attention to it at the time because oftentimes gearing and tire changes can affect speed accuracy. Comes to find out, the speed display was way off. It should say 90 miles per hour when I am just riding 30 miles per hour or under. It is the known issue with Yamaha WR250R and WR250X. Apparently inside a speed display, there is a memory storage for speed display factoring. That is, it uses the crankshaft speed sensor to calculate and display the correct speed, whether in miles per hour or kilometers per hour. Sometimes, when the bike's battery is not maintained, the bike's electrical system is not receiving the correct voltage or current. There is a chance the factoring memory inside the display will become corrupt or erased. When this happens, the speed on the display will be off, and you will have to replace the entire display unit to fix it. Now, not only to replace the unit will be very costly, I'm unaware if Yamaha has updated this display unit, and there is a remote possibility the same issue will happen again later. Also, I would like to change the stock's gearing ratio to suit my type of ridings. Since the WR250R sensor is located at the crankcase, changing my gears or even my tire sizes will affect speeds displayed. Since my current speed display is roughly three times the actual speed, my bike will rack up miles three times as fast. It would not be desirable if I ever wanted to sell the bike. Thanks to Scott from Jersey Designs near Las Vegas, Nevada, he was able to get a good deal for me for a new Speedo DRD. I think it's a pretty good device with simple installation and setup. It has a microchip that can recalibrate pulses from the Hall effect sensor inside the crankcase. It sits in line of the wiring and intercepts signals before passing on corrected values to the ECU. The version I received from Scott is the recently updated version of the Speedo DRD. It has a connector that can disconnect the unit from the cabling, which makes the installation a bit easier. Also, the new unit is sealed in epoxy, which should enjoy its durability to stand up to heat and vibrations. Step 1 of the install is to remove the seat, two screws below the rear fender, and remove the left side panel, which is one screw, and it simply slides out. For the install, Locate the plug above the battery to the left with the blue wire. It should have three wires. Unplug it and plug it into the Speedo DRD harness. There is another plug nearby the battery to the right with the yellow wire. It has the same plug, but it is not the one for the speed sensor. The factory wiring clip has some room left in it. So I feed the Speedo DRD wires through the black plastic tubing. Thanks to the new design, I was able to unplug the Speedo DRD from the harness and feed it through. Make sure to use the provided zip ties to tidy up the wiring as close to the frame as possible. Otherwise, they may push on your side panels and push it off the bike frame during riding. Before proceeding further, I turn on the ignition power to make sure the unit powers on. At this point, don't even bother with the manuals provided by Trouble Clock Labs unless you need to troubleshoot. The single piece of paper crane allows the info into a tiny space and it is hard to read. Simply go to their website instead and enter your calculation info. It will provide quick and easy setup instructions. To set up for positive or negative adjustments, release on either red or green. Here I release too late and instead of the red I need, I got green. Here I select the round mode by mistake. As soon as I realized it, it is blinking green instead of red, I quickly click through the three numbers so I can start over.
Getting ready to secure the unit on a bike. Watch out for spark plugs, ignition coils, and fuel injectors. You want to locate Speedo DRD at least 6 inches away from them to avoid interference according to instructions. I put my unit pretty close to the ECU near the rear of the bike. Figures the 3M VHB tape should do a pretty good job and dampen some vibrations. I attach the unit to a vacuum canister thing near air intake. Here's a video after the install. Compared to my phone GPS display, it works pretty good. Overall, sometimes the speed display is slightly higher, but that's okay since the GPS usually have a little lag. And the Yamaha factory setting is off by about 7%. I'm happy with the 1 miles per hour discrepancy. Besides, if I ever get OCD about it, I can calibrate it as often as I want. This should work well to let me know exactly how fast I'm going and how far I have traveled. So I know uh, if I have any guests left. Thanks for watching.